Good evening, you guys. I don't think I've ever started a video this late. It's almost 9 p.m. I'm just in the middle of prepping for kind of a crazy week. My mom got me hooked on Mel Robbins, and she talks about all the time how your evening routine really sets you up for a good morning routine. And my first day of work on the mountain is tomorrow, so I am just tidying up the house, getting everything ready. I'm honestly just in for a huge change in my routines this week, which always leaves me feeling a little bit jittery. So I don't know if any of you guys are like this, but I am an anxious cleaner. Let me know if you do this in the comments below. I've also just been trying to think about kind of what I want my days to look like and what our weeks are gonna look like with this change. I work four days up in the mountain and then one day remotely, and then we have two full days off together. So I've just been thinking about crafting my routines a little bit more intensely as I move into this next season and just doing as much as I can for myself to set myself up for success. I've just been feeling a little flustered tonight, but that's totally okay. I try to look at anxiety more as like excitement than anything else. They feel very similar to me, like kind of butterfly energy. But this week is also going to be so much fun. After I get home from work tomorrow, we are meeting up with some friends and going to a hockey game over in Jackson Hole. We don't go to Jackson very often, so that is exciting in and of itself. But I grew up in a hockey family and I haven't been to a hockey game in forever and I'm so looking forward to it. And then on Saturday, the RV park that we're staying at has been expanding their park and talked about potentially having to move us. We did finally get the word on that this morning that we are having to move. So we are going to move the trailer on Saturday. We are both off together and then hopefully work on our skirting. So since we've got a lot going on, I thought I would just pick up the camera and bring you guys along this week. I have such a habit of like getting lost in the busyness and not savoring the memories. So I want to get in a habit of doing that. And this is the start. When we were in an apartment, we always had like a chair. It was just kind of the place that just collected everything that was halfway dirty that I didn't feel like putting back away and this has become that. I think I'll probably wear this tomorrow. I haven't gotten a uniform yet but that does say the resort name on it. I think these are dirty and these are new. Honestly, it's kind of a bad habit I picked up in van life. I use throw pillows as kind of like a cover for my mess. I just like tuck things behind them and I've got to break that habit. <laughs> I feel like a kid getting ready for school when I do this, but it honestly helps me so much to lay my clothes out the night before. So, beast layers. He did say to bring ski gear. We are expected to ride on breaks tomorrow and familiarize ourselves with the train. And last but certainly not least, my least favorite chore, the dishes. As much as I hate doing them, waking up to a messy kitchen is like the quickest way to stress me out. So. up a crock pot cobbler so I'm just going to put that in the fridge gosh y'all I love having a big fridge as much as I love van life I really like food another thing that I really liked I think it was Mel Robbins podcast as well was that you don't have to do the chores like all the way you know you can just do a few and see how far you get like I did most of the dishes tonight but there's a couple things like the crock pot that I'm going to leave soaking just because they'll be easier to clean later on. And at least I got the kitchen to a point, you know, that when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not going to be like stressed out about how messy the kitchen is.
York and I have finally managed to make it to the bus stop before the bus. My first day went so good. I really love my team and I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a great season. I did, however, realize I'm going to have to catch the bus at 6.15 every morning, um, which is going to be a little rough. But I am home and we are, are getting ready to go to a hockey game in Jackson Hole and I'm so excited. Chilly night and Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm really getting into the swing of my new schedule and adjusting to waking up early. My days are kind of long, but they're really fun and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing, so that makes it a lot easier. Because I'm working in the ski industry, this time of year is a really big ski week, so I've been just kind of working a lot. I was really feeling in the Christmas spirit kind of up until Christmas, but I worked both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so I feel like I just didn't feel like the Christmas Day magic this year, and I'm really kind of itching to take my decorations down, which is kind of unlike me. I usually leave them up until like the middle of January, but I'm kind of just ready for the camper to feel a little bit less cluttered and like refreshed. We did move into the camper right around fall, so I've had a lot of seasonal decor up since we've moved in. So I'm excited to play around with year-round decor and just kind of get it cleaned up in here. I am not really big on like New Year's resolutions. I honestly do a lot more of like my goal setting and things like that in the spring and fall, like with the seasons. But I definitely am kind of feeling the need for a refresh and a little reset after the holidays. I leave for work every morning before the sun comes up and I get home after dark. So I haven't grabbed a lot of footage, but I've just been working up on the mountain, snowboarding a lot. And those early mornings have been coming with very early evenings. I've been going to bed at like 8, 8.30 every night. That's just what's been setting me up to feel well rested and everything in the morning. So I am getting ready to turn in. I've got the coffee maker all set up. Got a couple of more days of work to get through the holiday week, but I'm really looking forward to New Year's. We have some fun plans and that's getting me through the week. Finally made it to New Year's Eve and we brought the van up so that we can go to the New Year's Eve party at the resort. Well they can kiss each other for New Year's. <laughs> I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. 